I got fourth. That's pretty good. <laughs> good luck. Third slash fourth. I think they get the same prizing. Is it like a twenty There's ten no prizing, five no. and five? No, we we, we went no prize. We decided we decided top two. <laughs> Give me five dollars. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. What's up, so, Ethan? What's what what's the split what then? Twenty five fifteen. Oh shit. Okay. I want some supper. Paul got 15, 15 bucks for nothing. <laughs> I also sent you an extra five, so if I win this, then I get thirty, right? Yes. Okay. Good luck. When you when you lose this, you only get twenty though. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself so I can commentate. Happened. Good luck, guys. Uh. Alrighty. So finals: Centurion, Bistial versus Angelum. I ha we had we have a yet to look at <laughs> this pendulum deck. Um, a little background on these two players: we had Swap the Boy Artemis, so Cole and Ethan. Um, Y'all, these guys play with each other all the time. They're they're just gonna have a good time here. Um, they know each other in and out. They are best friends for a long time. Been I've known these guys for a really long time as well so uh, they're having a good time if uh two people were to say we're like out of the eight the, like if i were to guess two people to make it to the finals is these two um two of our greatest play like two of the like best players uh, are in our region so um it makes sense not taking away anything uh definitely could go e like could have gone any way um with like any of these players like i think that all the players we're pretty much our best players um in sasuke or like our, our, our for some of our best players but so yeah we have the centurion here he ethan actually opening up centurion this time um so it's it's really looking like no hand traps or he's saying we see the keep going the thumbs up saying i might lost it really just depends on if Cole has the out to the Calamity here or not. I don't know um, how well Pendulum can deal with it. So will Cole have it or not? Um, we'll see. Okay. I hate Centurion. Um... I would rather it not win. Sorry, Ethan. Um, I calamity is stupid, like really. <laughs> but like, you know, it is what it is. So he's gonna get the Legadia. Get the draw. I honestly like. I think like it, it kind of sucks. Like I actually don't mind Centurion as a deck, like or like the mechanic and, and and the gimmick and and what it does. Like it's kind of annoying, but like at the same time, I don't know. It gives me this weird, um, this weird feeling. I don't know what kind of other deck it feels like, but you know. I think it's a cool mechanic and everything. I, I think it's a shame that um, the deck had to go along the route of like just making calamity, right? I get it. That's what it's good at and in and, and what it does. But like, it's just kind of a lame thing, right? It makes like what I think like you know, if calamity wasn't in the game, I, I think that like I would enjoy it a lot more. But would the deck do as much? Probably not. Um, but I like. I would I think I would rather that than it ever having this like time in its light to be honest That's just in my opinion um, Though I didn't hate playing against it. I'm uh, I'm on runic right now um, That could change in the future. I'm, I have fire king built and I'm almost done rescue ace and rescue ace seems like my style of deck But yeah, sorry, let's get into the game. So um, we're finally we're on some on combos first thing uh we are gonna go for here cole is some uh dragon shrine here which is a foolish burial for dragons if he sends a normal monster he can send two so supreme king dark worm this is richard dea will try to trigger with uh premiere as well oh not yet. We are just now. 
Regained summoning target Magnumut Magnumut Magnum. Okay. Is there like the question is is there just no collapse? I was gonna say, is there no calamities like out of respect? Or do they know? Is there something I don't know? That's what I wanna know. Especially, like, that could happen with Pendulum. Okay, talents. Age. Interesting. What did I miss? <laughs> Y'all are funny. Can his deck yeah hold on yeah so like can he can he still make dissipator or does this um send one card from your note no, not that effect i just special me synchro someone synchro monster you control you can even make baron too okay okay see and that, that's what i mean like this this deck honestly so like Without calamities, it could take one or two top spots. I'm not saying it would be like, oh, it's still good, but like, it could do better. It, it, it could, you know, it could still be decent and do well um, in, a, in an event, definitely. Like in a YCS, it could still top. Well, I'm not going to say there's going to be half topping or there's not going to be maybe 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 one top maybe two tops but that that's might but like I don't know Calamities is such a silly card man so I don't know why there was no like why was there no Calamities attempt did I miss something could just be respect to be H like it really really could be or like Ethan um you know Ethan knows he's being watched right now knows he's being talked about he just wants to win uh without that could be that or I'm just stupid and everyone's laughing at me right now. And yo, bro. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. So it's really hard to commentate on this um, pendulum deck, you know? I'm not a. I don't really know what they do. I'm not a. <laughs> I am the person who hates Pendulum. Like, <laughs> actually, these guys are freaking hilarious. Um, <laughs> that uh, we're um, playing my first tournament, and it's gonna be <laughs> either Calamities, which is like I hate stuff like that, or it's gonna be a Pendulum deck that wins, and I hate Pendulum. <laughs> so I love that. <laughs> I like. I think it's really funny.
I know these videos might not get very much content, but it's just something to upload, have something to watch, have you something you guys to go. Um, we're going to, uh, you know, have some cool things to do with the video. We're going to bring this channel to be like, you know, more, um, more like around, stuff around this as a whole right rather than just some deck profiles here and there i want to do a little bit more into that so have more our community and more of our stuff going on We're gonna see the scoop so one thing we've learned from today is that commentating can be very difficult when you don't know a lot of the decks or a lot of the cards that are entered now we're learning together that means if you guys don't know that means i'm learning um i do think uh, I, I actually had a lot of fun doing this today um a lot of times uh just being honest uh, a lot of times i get some like anxiety with coming to playing and this is like kind of a very anxiety free thing this is all my friends playing a tournament together um and uh, i i just get to have fun and watch and not worry about how i do so i think uh, i i really enjoyed today as uh, a run and stuff so I'll definitely be doing more of this in the future so hopefully you guys like um I've been trying to keep some personality and keep talking and keep it from being silent. Definitely some times where I go a little bit silent, but all right, going into match three, our game two here, where Pendulum's obviously going to start first. He's just skipping right to graveyard, Dragon Shrine, boom, boom. Dark Worm effect going to go off. Dark Worm adds. Like, this is like this card was always in. I, oh my god, I think this card's broken. This card shouldn't be. <laughs> I, hate, I hate it. But, makes sense. Supreme Gate Magician gets a zero. Okay, I, I kind of know these cards. Realistically, now that I'm. I know this engine. Just being lazy, not reading, not not even paying attention. Let's not do that. So that dumps that. I don't know why that does that. I can't remember. So this lets him send one. What if you do special summon this card? Oh, no, I don't know what the heck. It just. Okay. So I know that this isn't, I don't think this, um, this deck is like super serious. He's playing more of a fun deck. He just, this guy's a, a really good Yuga player. He knows the ins and outs of like the game he plays. He knows a lot of the cards. He like, his mind contains more card knowledge than my mind can for sure. Um, he's the type of guy, if you like want to know something about a certain deck you go to, you know what I mean? He knows it and uh he's always good at all the decks he plays he's a really good player on top of knowing everything he's really good so even ethan like um you know one of our top players who you know arguably right now wins you know a lot of the locals um not arguably wins but like i was gonna say most but i don't know if that's true right now i can't i, I haven't been i honestly don't pay that much attention to who's been winning um it's not been me won a couple but um yeah no he he even says to cole like you know cole heals a lot of a lot of uh his skill to cole because you know cole knows so many cards and can help out in that way <clears throat> have been doing a lot of talking my voice is running out here so he a veiler it's gonna end there that is tough. Is this going to be a quick 2-0 in the finals? It might be. We'll see here. I don't have Cole's list.
he did have Ash. Which is one thing about the Centurion deck is that it can be a little fragile at times, but that's usually why like it's you know it's 20 non-engine cards as Ethan was saying earlier. Um and there there's a lot of things you know you can do um to put in slots, you know, like more hand traps. Um but on top of that, Bis Shield engine and stuff like that, like that's a whole nother engine you play. Um, the Centurion engine is very small, so you know I'm making the Bis Shields ends up. But you know he he does like because he would have a tuner. He still has, so he has a you know if he had a Bis Shield, he definitely has access. But oh, and like some that is what. So it's definitely not going to be a quick 2-0. That's what the like can happen. Um, with the Centurion, so he just has no Bishio package, and yeah, so So yeah, he just has to pass there can be tough. Okay. So essentially, um, Cole here is going to, um, Sorry, mind blank. Essentially, Cole's gonna skip and continue comboing um, from where he left off. Now, where is that? The only difference is, is now instead of making an end board, you have to deal with these two cards. And two double ash. Kind of drawn that. Um, so what can Centrion? Trudea can activate putting these back. Fantasme. I need to get my hands on some of these. I think this card is actually really good this format. I think it was really good for last format. I think that I maybe thought it was underrated, but looking at like especially what this format is coming to, I think it's really good. Dexter just like even like Dexter just ending on um SP so much right now, just like a blank SP. When I say a blank SP, I mean like not not using its first banish effect, just a regular SP. So I don't know. Phantasmi is good and it's gets him into a droll. I know droll against pendulum. Oh devastating. It definitely can be devastating. Um, I don't know <laughs> Unfortunately since I don't know um, Cole's uh, combo I can't tell you how bad it hurts in this situation But Might be a maybe Let's listen in Real quick Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. It stopped oh. two searches here. You would have gone a gate and a dark one. Yeah, I would have. They would have been nice extra utility. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, see, so they were uh they're talking. Debating um they were debating if they uh the droll really mattered here and he's Ethan says, Yeah, so you would have had two searches, but it's not also like Yeah. So he would have got two extra searches essentially which could have been really nice what is what they were saying um which makes sense the cool little listen in there helps get a little bit more understanding
What are the man like traps are wild nowadays? Like what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so game two going to the player there. Let's listen to you. Okay. Bottom five player for me this entire time has been complete ass. You two come out. Uh, pull one of these. That's how the board works. Yeah. Hey, good luck. You too. Alrighty. Stand by me. Yep. Okay, we're gonna let them play. Um, initially, no reactions to how hands are or anything. Nothing like oh, I bricked or nothing like that. So, um, one thing: the traps are wild. I think every time like traps activated, there it's wild and they still suck somehow. Um, but. Oh, so he gets his initial players. So this is the the you know a lot of times the the play can end here on the Vader on the Premiera, but Oath is um B card. Um that they can have for follow-up for those situations. Though if this word you get hand trapped it would not be good for Ethan. This is good. Today I can pop off. Back itself and place another. This is the what level is this dude? Eight. Let me make that. Legadia will get a draw. Okay. Now do we see the calamity? Do we see the calamities for the final game? Do we? Hmm. Not likely. Just kidding. All right. So that's all they need. Okay. We've seen this before. Dragon. So we see it. I was just confused because he didn't have the premiere in the spawn trap zone, but yeah. So does he have an out? Well, there it is. There it is. Pulling it out. Pull. Cannot activate any artifacts on the field. So you can do graveyard effects. That's it. That's how she goes. The end of that is going to be that already. That is. Renamed, I didn't have any pistols. So maybe I have the pistol count on this. 
I don't think you play more pistols, they're bad. Just the four? I'd just play, yeah, I'd play like, if anything, less of this, less 